afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen this afternoon. What's cooking with Mary? Well, today I thought I'd take a recipe out of my cookbook here and it's the smoked macro pate. I'm just waiting for a few people to come on live. And once I see a few little eyeballs coming up there, then we'll carry on. I see one, good, two. Hi, Kathy Wilson, how are you? My dear friend, Kathy in Florida there. I hope you've battened down your hatches. You must've got a little bit of that wind that's going through Louisiana right now. So I hope everything's okay with all of you there. Um, if you go to page 48 of the Mary's Kitchen Cookbook, you will find this delicious recipe for smoke macro pate. And I don't know it, hi there Brenda, I don't know if any of you have had a chance to make this yet, but this was an all time favorite. Uh, when I had and ran my restaurant for many years, the Heron Gallery and Bistro. And uh, this was a firm favorite. This was on the menu every day. And of course we had fresh mackerel because the restaurant was right on the seaside. So it was wonderful. And uh, just for those of you who don't have my book yet, uh, I'm doing a little special. I've had some beautiful cotton towels, luxury 100% cotton towels made up dish towels and they're beautifully embroidered 13 and a half thousand stitches there as you can see I'll hold it up and you'll be getting one of these free so any cookbook that's ordered from today right up to the end of September you'll be getting one of these tea towels for free if anybody's wanting to purchase one they are uh, 9.99 pounds or I think they'll be about 12 pounds 50 or 15 pounds uh, 15 dollars something like that i haven't quite got them on the site but if you do order the book if you go on to my website www.maryjoancalder.com and if you click on usa or uh, uk for the book you will automatically receive one of these so don't worry if the offer isn't there you know you have my word one of these will be coming in the post to you as well along with your book so anyway what's happening in mary's kitchen well what we like to do here is make cooking fun for everyone and if you have come on i can see there's quite a few people on say hello i got kathy and brenda here saying hello um Anyway, what we're going to do today is make a lovely smoked mackerel pate. I've got my big blender here today, the bomb, my big, big mixer today. So, and Kathy, you see I've got my little juicer here as well, got everything out here. So the basic ingredients for this are uh, smoked mackerel, first of all, and I generally buy the peppered, okay? You can buy it plain with no pepper on it, but it gives it a really boost in the flavor if you get... Uh, the pepper uh, smoked mackerel. Now I also got something interesting here today. There's two underneath called lemon and parsley smoked mackerel. And I also saw today another package with chili, but there was a man in my way and I couldn't grab it. So if not, I would have had three flavors in here. I'd have had the pepper, the lemon and parsley and the chili one. But anyway, I think that would have made a nice combination. But in this dish, I put fresh chili anyway. So uh, I put some green, uh, one green and one red chili in here. So that's, uh, that gives the heat. That's the most important thing, the heat. <laughs> if you don't like the heat, stay out of the kitchen. So we'll start with the mackerel. Um, I'm just going to push my cutting board over here a little bit so that you can see me what I'm doing exactly. And I'm just going to bring my magic mix over it just a little closer here for you. So what we'll do first of all is we're going to put the fish in. And all you need to do, I'm going to save the skin for the dogs, uh, is just peel the mackerel away from the skin like so. It's very, very simple. It's a very oily fish. Oh, it smells divine. It smells divine. Actually, Kathy, uh, you know that place? Um in St. Petersburg there. What's it called again? They do the smoked fish. Peters, Ted Peters. Oh my goodness, get some smoked fish from there and make this pate. It'd be absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna take the skin, nothing's getting wasted because the little doggies are gonna eat that. That's gonna be really good for them because there's lots of oil and mackerel. So it's a nice one. Make sure you get all the skin off. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so it's a good one for them to eat. This is my lemon and, mmm, that smells nice too. That's the lemon and parsley one. Let's see. There we go. Put that in. And if you have come on, say hello. I've got Kathy and Brenda here up on the screen. There we go. Now you do need a towel to wash. Get, get one of your old dish towels that you don't need anymore. Uh, that's probably heading to the washing machine. And uh, just wipe your fingers on that because it is quite an oily fish. And we're gonna just give this a little uh, spin one way. Oh, oh, what's happened? Excuse me, I shut it off at the wall. <laughs> Just in case the dogs trip over it. <laughs> Never mind. Here we go again. Let's try this. Oh, it's still not going. What's happening? <laughs> oh, here we we'll go now. Oh, there's lots of things going on here today. <laughs> there we go. There, so close up your mackerel quite a lot. Until it gets really, really and quite crumbly, you want it. And that'll just about do it. Okay, so I've got my mackerel nice and crumbly, and I'm going to put eight ounces of cream cheese in there. Now, I've got two different kinds of cream cheese here. I've got a classic, which is just your normal, like your Philadelphia cream cheese. So I see more people coming on now. Hi, Teresa and Anna. How you doing? And this is another one I bought today. It's called, it's a herb. It's got some parsley in it and other fresh herbs in here. So I'm gonna try this one in here and it's eight ounces of cream cheese, which your Philadelphia blocks normally come in eight ounces, don't they? So anyway, you just put one of those blocks in, like I'm gonna put this whole thing in here. And this is a herb. You don't forget to have your little container at the side. So you can throw all your garbage into one spot. There we go. Ooh, some nice herbs in here. Get that down into the fish. There's some beautiful herbs in here, that's nice. Good. Remember, always wash your hands before you start cooking, okay? That's the first thing I do before I come on. I make sure my hands are washed. There we go. Put that in there. Now you can put all your ingredients in really uh, at once, but let's just get that creamed up a little bit first, okay? Get the cream cheese all mixing into the meat, slowly working its way. Now I'm gonna put uh, one red pepper. That's quite a big one. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put that one, and I'm gonna put one green in here. So I'm just gonna top them, and I am gonna put the seeds in too. I think if you read the recipe in my book, it says take the seeds out, but you know me, I like a little bit of heat, so I just keep the seeds in. And take, just top them. And then we can just start throwing things in here slowly. We'll just throw them in, let them get all cut up. You can hear them cutting up. Nicely. And the next thing I'm going to do, I think I have a little piece of garlic here, but it seems to have disappeared somewhere. Huh, everything's not going smooth in the kitchen today. Okay, I'm going to turn that off now, because what I want to do is take that lid off. So we've got our cream cheese and our mackerel all mixed in beautifully together. Now I'm going to take... You can put a garlic clove in here if you like, and I did have one ready to put in, but I don't know, it's disappeared. <laughs> oh well, don't worry. So first we do, so we're gonna take the rind off one lemon. And I like this little grater that I'm using. I hope that you can see that quite nicely and closely. There we go. It's so nice for me to be able to come on here and teach you how to cook various dishes. And especially if you're really, really technically challenged in the kitchen, as my dear friend Katie Gessamy got away from making smoothies uh, and started making some of my dishes in her kitchen, which I was very proud of her. And if she's watching or has come on, I hope, Katie, you're still 
making a huge effort. So if, even if it's just one person who's learned how to make something from Mary's Kitchen, makes me a happy bunny. But I know quite a few of you make a lot of the dishes out of my recipe book, which makes me happy. And uh, because they've stopped teaching, haven't they? They've stopped teaching cooking at school, which is such a shame because everybody's into technology and, but it's so wonderful. I like, there's great deal of pleasure in making wonderful meals for people. Getting that big, mmm, is that ever good? <laughs> we all like to hear that. And uh, so, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments there for me so that I can see. Hi, Salwa. Um, so, and I can answer. Look, we've got a nice little bit of rind going on here. So that's the, the lemon and the lime. Now I'm gonna put the juice of both of these in here. And Kathy, I'm using your little juicer. My dear friend Kathy gave me this little juicer while I was in Florida. And I use it all the time, especially when I'm having my uh, ACV, apple cider vinegar, and lemon drink in the morning. So we're gonna, oh, we got another half. Let's put the other half in. There we go. It's pouring rain here today in Scotland, absolutely pelting it down. And I know there's some terrible storms going through America right now. So if you're in Louisiana, batten down your hatches, whatever you do. I have been in a few hurricanes myself over the years in Florida. And uh, it can be pretty wild. I watched the whole dock come up one day. So that was a pretty, for like about 30 boats, just like an accordion. Just came up, boom, 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 boom. And all the wood was away floating in the water. It was pretty scary stuff to stand in that it's pretty, and I had a tornado come up past my townhouse right up the sidewalk while I was sitting on the balcony could see it so clearly it was amazing I, it's no wonder these people do this kind of hurricane and tornado watching it's quite interesting to watch the eye of a storm very damaging I know but nature is a funny uh, funny old thing sometimes I'm going to put a red onion in here and I'm just going to put half of this because it's just one small red onion and that's kind of a large red onion. So you can see, putting all my garbage in one container so that when I finish my cooking, I don't have to clean up too much rubbish. I'll just take this skin off the onion. And we're gonna, I'm just going to chop that a little bit. Um, like so. So it cuts itself up a little bit. We'll put this on. These, these magic mixes now, if you don't have one, try and buy yourself one. Aldi and Littles are always great places to buy these from. Uh, I'll tell you why. You know, back in the day when they first came out, they were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds and dollars. Now you can pick them up for like maybe 50 bucks, something like that. Um, I have different sizes. You've probably seen me use my next size down, and then I have an even smaller one that I use. It depends what I'm making. So I'd strongly recommend this if you're going to get a gadget in your kitchen. This is the baby to get, the bomb. And it comes with all sorts of little cutting edges. I mean, this one is the one that cuts everything up. And, oops! Oops, what's happened? Oh, my earring. <laughs> what's going on in Mary's kitchen? I think I've got poltergeist today. Anyway. My friend Gail gave me these earrings. They're so beautiful, I love them. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you can afford to get yourself one of these, this is a wonderful gadget because it has several little plates in it, some for grating, some for slicing. Uh, saves you hordes and hordes of time from cutting things up. So let's just get this going again. It also has like what they call a pulse button, so you can just pulse things up. And you wanna really, really mix up. There's not any bones if there's any bones in that fish, they're so, because it's been smoked, they're so soft. And when you put them through this Magimix, it just grinds them all up. So the next thing I'm going to put in is I'm going to put in some fresh cilantro, some coriander. And I'll show you what I do. We buy them in growing pots like this which is quite good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it off right there. Start. 
into my smoked macro pate. It's going to have a beautiful lemon lime flavor and the freshness of the cilantro, the coriander, it just makes it absolutely superb. So we get that all mixed in there. I love this in Indian food as well. We got a few little extra bits here. I haven't used this one for a long time, but I, you need to use it for a dish like this because you need lots of room in the bowl for things to whiz around it. There we go. A little bit of onion. Smooth that over. Put that. Right. Now the important thing is presentation as well. So I want to show you how to place this on a plate and how to present it. I want to make sure it's all nicely mixed up and I am going to take my little spatula here and just take it around there there we go now it's quite sort of lit kind of night like watch Okay, but once that goes in to the fridge for a little while, it's going to get a little harder and it's easier to serve. It's easier to serve into uh, what I do is I get them between two large spoons and serve them. But I'm going to show you that in a second. Hang on, I just want to make sure that that's all mixed in nicely. Oh, the smell is beautiful. <laughs> Okay, right, so for presentation, I have a little dish here. Now, I'm not going to be able to make my, my cute little, um, I get two spoons, and I take a dollop, and I just do that and do that and make it kind of like a, it's kind of like a uh, oval shaped with two little points on the end, and that's generally how I serve them on the, on the plate. But because I haven't set it yet, it's not been set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a lovely little ceramic dish like this, and then show you. I'll probably have to set this later on. I might be able to do my little things. Let's just see. I've got the ceramic dish here. So if you were going to make it for serving, you can have, put a little lid on it if you want, or you can just sit your lid like that on the side, which looks pretty as well. And I've got some, <laughs> you're going to laugh, fierce chili oat cake bites, of course, chili. Um, I'm going to put some little oat cakes, so you can use crackers or whatever you'd like to use. And normally I would put top it with a little bit of parsley but I haven't got any parsley at the moment. So just put a couple of uh, oat cakes out or some sort of crackers that you prefer. And there you've got yourself a beautiful display. You could either share that with somebody and I've got a little tiny bit of mint here. I'm just gonna put that right on the dish and just show you how pretty that looks. How simple was that? We've made that in less than 20 minutes. Of course, I did a lot of talking during that time, so I would say it's probably about 10 minutes to make this uh, less. What I would strongly recommend you do before you get started is make sure you get all your ingredients laid out so that you're all ready to go. And then from there, it's only gonna, really this recipe wouldn't take you more than five minutes to put together. All right, and I just make a little salad, uh, dish it up in a little bowl. Uh, as I say, when you, when it gets a little harder, you can form it with the spoons like that. Okay, it's too sloppy just at the moment because the cream cheese has to harden up again. So we're not going to do that sort of uh, show you that kind of presentation just at the moment because that's not going to work very well. So that's it. Basically, smoked macro pate on page 48 of Mary's Kitchen Cookbook. And remember, if you're ordering the cookbook, if you haven't got it, go on to www.maryjoancalder.com. And from now, today, 
and for the rest of the month you'll get a beautiful luxury cotton tea towel beautifully embroidered with Mary's Kitchen logo on the bottom of it and professionally embroidered by an embroidery company. They're really, really nice. They're actually very, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed that today, girls. Nice to see you all on here and Margaret and Diane. Great to see all you girls. Remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks for coming on and joining me in Mary's Kitchen today. Bye.